I'm all about screwing the conventional dating rules. But there are five specifically that you really must screw. And the first is don't reveal too much on the first date. The purpose of the first date is so that you can get to know each other so truly, authentically, to see if there's a pull between you, a chemistry, an attraction, a connection. Now, chemistry and attraction are surface, and they're great, but they're surface. A connection is a bond. That's deep. That's rooted in your soul, in your core values, in who you are as a person. The best way to create that deep bond, that connection, is to be open, revealing, get raw, which is something that I'll talk about in another video. So what do you reveal? Well, there's more of that in another video too, but basically you talk about your core values, you talk about your stories, you express who you are, you ask questions. You're not talking about, oh my gosh, I love to spa and you like beach vacations too. We like the same movies, oh my gosh, and music, wow, and restaurants, who cares? Honestly, if you pre-qualified well enough before that date, you'd know all of that information and on the date, you get raw. The next rule to screw, don't talk about your ex. Yes, talk about your ex on the first date. It's one of the great ways to pre-qualify while on the date because it can be incredibly revealing about both you and him. It's the do's and don'ts though that make all the difference when it comes to what to say, how to say it, how to get into that conversation of your ex. And that I talk about in some of my products and other videos. But you do want to talk about your ex. It sets a standard. It says, this is me. This is where I come from. This is my experience. This is how awesome I am. And because I've dated such awesome people, that makes you awesome too. But you don't want to be a downer. Okay, next rule to screw. Be busy and don't explain why. Even if you're not busy, pretend that you are. I mean, really? No. Don't pretend to be busy. Be busy. Actually be busy. If you aren't, then get a life. Literally, get a life, be a whole person, be independent, go out with friends, pursue hobbies and interests. You want to get into a relationship as a whole independent person with someone who is a whole independent person. To, uh, individually, you're amazing. Together, you're even more awesome. Now that's attractive, that's sexy. It also minimizes your tendency to be needy because you don't need him. You want him. You're choosing to spend time with him. You're making the time. He is a priority. But you have a lot of other things going on too. And that makes you a really interesting, dynamic, and layered person who has something to bring to the table. Don't hide what you're doing. Tell him. It's interesting what you're up to. All right, next rule to screw. Only casual kissing on the first date. Okay, this is a complicated issue. You need to do what feels right for you. How deeply are you connected? How well did you pre-qualify first? So if you don't really know him because you didn't pre-qualify, then yeah, maybe a kiss or maybe even not a kiss. But if you really know him and you get raw on the first date, then you can do what feels comfortable to you. And you know, go with that feeling, understanding that if you go too far, you know, things might happen, but it's up to you. It's a personal thing. And I talk about that more in other videos too. All right, the next rule to screw, offer to pay. Never, don't offer to pay. Women, you are not paying, you're not even doing the fake reach. Women can pay in a feminine way. And that is not on the first date, but later. On the date, you're there, you have shown up. Paying is providing, that's masculine. Cooking, nurturing, being present and lovely and sweet and fun and entertaining, that's feminine. You don't want to emasculate a man by paying, okay? As silly as that sounds, friends go Dutch. Dates don't. You're on a date. Let him be the man. And after he pays, look at him and smile and say, thank you, I really enjoyed that. And then, this is another, this is this extra credit rule to screw, Text him after that night or the next day to say, thank you, I had such a great date. Because you're being gracious, you are in gratitude, and that's a very feminine thing to do. It's also something that a lot of people uh, 
talk about and many people are afraid to do and a lot of dating coaches actually say to not, not to do, but they're wrong. Say thank you. Appreciate the gift that he gave you as he appreciates the gift you gave him. And that gift that you gave him is that you showed up and you were wonderful and pleasant and you were a woman and you were open to receiving. So those are the top five rules to screw. And I talk about lots more in my videos and products. So I know I'm a little bit edgy, but that's what works. And that's how you become real and raw and you have an authentic relationship that's substantive instead of something that's surface and fleeting. I'll talk to you soon.